Okay, in this next little clip, we're going to look at um, a few ways of controlling the dynamic blocks now with palettes and and the properties dialog box. So if you come along here and you let's, let's just modify the block slightly, we'll make it without chairs. So change a few things around. If you ever want to get back to to where you were with the start and you're kind of not sure because there's that much you've changed about it, you can always when you're left click on the block right click and then reset the block and it goes back to its original format if I do a regen just to make sure our attributes you may have to do a regen on the attributes to to get them back to to normal as well so it's a right click left click on the block and right click and do a reset block and it comes back to to its original format the the format if you like you, you first created so that's one method now if I kind of do a control and one to bring up the properties dialog box or you can go to tools and palettes and properties and so on come on here left click on the block again it tells me it's a block reference up here come down I can just minimize some of these little windows tells me the block name table and chairs come in here we can actually control the distances and that from within here so you can also do it within here um, why you'd want to do it I'm not so sure when it's so easy just to kind of stretch it there and again so easy to kind of just right click on that and, and or left click on that and, and get in and change it in from in there it can be done but but why you'd want to do it I'm not 100% clear as to why it's obviously so much easier to kind of pop there and left click there to, to kind of change change items in there do regen and again go back to reset our block and do a regen again just to get your attributes back to normal so a few little sort of modifications you can do there um, next one like controlling the placement of the dynamic block with tool palettes so control and tree is tool palettes but if I pop up here you can kind of see it as well it's available there tools palettes and tool palettes um, so you can access it there and I think it's on the view tab as well yeah we've got tool palettes in there as well so a few ways you can you can access your tool palettes uh, dialog box now let's have a little look at modifying this so if I right click on that you see a kind of list of sort of preset tool palettes that I've got loaded in here and um, it depends uh, this is kind of loaded at the installation stage so you may or may not have kind of got all these in here as well we've got the annotation and design tool palette selected at the moment but there's all sorts of various ones which which are very easily editable and we go in now and see how to edit them by clicking on the customize palettes and you see there we can create new palettes as well so I come in and customize so let's just kind of customize this so I'll kind of minimize all this right back down unfortunately it comes expanded like this all the time so um, you'll probably have to do exactly the same just so we can see exactly where we are and here we are annotation and design tool palette group we're in we can come in here and you know you can drag palettes into this you know as you kind of need you can kind of decide that if you if you wanted tables in there you can just pop just by left click hold down drag it in and you know pop the tables in anywhere there and they'll appear in your tool palette or you can right click and remove it from there so um that one there well, I just kind of remove a few of those in that particular tool palette I keep hatches and fills remove that remove architectural we got annotation um you might want to kind of pop in a draw tool palette at the start a modified tool palette so we got draw and modify so I kind of click on that um it's another way to go maybe um in your design and you can dock it off to the side in, instead of anyone that uses toolbars you might want to consider doing this um, you know to modify the look of it and if I kind of close OK that and kind of again anchor it to the, the left you can kind of very easily kind of get all your draw panels there icons are very large in that so I just drag it out again there and if I right click we can have a look at our view options and we can kind of reduce the image size right down and instead of icon and text we can just have icon only and we can say all palettes click OK and now we've got this little list so if I 
<coughs> anchor it to the left again. You see, we've got all our little tool pellets there. We can uh, actually, as well, just kind of squash that down slightly. So now, when you pop along, you've got all your draw tool and you've got your modify annotation hatches and fills. So you got those few pallets there. So you can kind of modify it like that, pop it back out again. And I'm going to customize pallets again. See, it's got that unfortunate thing that's gone away and expanded them again. Um, I'm going to remove the annotation one and possibly the hatches and fills one as well. Draw and modify. Now we get into doing our our dynamic block one. So um, if we go in here, we might want to create a new group. Um, sorry. Um, new palette in here, sorry. So um, I'll just call this blocks. Okay, and we've got the blocks one created in there. I'll just drag it down to there because it's not one you probably use to draw one, and, and you can kind of reorder them like that easily enough as well. Here yeah, we got our blocks. I'll just expand that slightly. Right there, like that, and frozen up on me. Ah, oh, there it is. Eventually, kind of did it, just sort of copy and paste. I just copy and paste the table and chairs dynamic block, and it's in there. And if I start a new drawing now from scratch. Here we go, and you can very easily just pop your dynamic block in there in a totally new drawing. And you've got a full list of your blocks in there. Now, a few things just to kind of be aware of when you save your blocks in there is that um, you need to get yourself organized in regards to blocks. I've mentioned this already um, before, but you know, storage and where you store blocks and so on, you need to be very organized in that and do it from day one, start off from day one, because if you change the location of your table and chair block, if we move it to some other folder now, it's going to lose the link and we'll have to reattach the link to that. Okay, so that's the two palettes.